My name is Mayor Lazarov. I'm learning this year in Shadalat. I came this year to Latera. Uh, Rabbi Mendy Wolf got up. He told us about his program, YJL. Um, you take some kids with you. You go out and you, he, gives, he gives you a list of places who to meet. He gives you the tools. He gives you the know-how and really empowers you to be able to do it in a much more efficient and organized way. Uh, one actually incredible story I had this year of time. One of the places I go to is uh, John. So when I came there, my, the, the, the younger Bakr I was going with told me that, uh, that previous years, Bakr and I were going through Mamut Sayyim, but they never managed to get him to put on tefillin. He considers himself a Christian, because many years ago he had uh, baptized himself or something. So I came, and after the inspirational speeches and uh, empowerment that Rabbi Wolf gave me, I decided that I'm not going to let this happen. If, I, if there's a Yid in Manhattan that I know about, I'm going to make sure he puts on film. So I came into his office and I started talking to him. And he told me, yeah, every, every year they come, they tell me I'm a confused Jew. You, you, you can give up now. So I told him it's not going to work that way this year. We're different. We're YJL. We're going to take it over. And we came week after week and we discussed and we argued and we brought out different points. And it got a little bit intense. And eventually we boiled it down to that he agreed that it might be right for him to put on film but as a uh, good, true, honest person, as a Christian, it would be wrong for him. He felt it might be a betrayal of what he called his religion to put on film. So I told him, no problem. I'm absolutely sure if you speak to your priest, then he'll definitely tell you that that's fine, that you're in the clear. So again, after a lot of pushing, he was reluctant at first, he didn't want to. He, he, yeah, he found, yeah, eventually it took time, and the priest wasn't available, he was busy at an event. Eventually, uh, took a little bit more work, and John spoke to his priest. And I show up one week to his office, and he, I walk in, he has this big smile on his face, and he's like, Mayor, I have good news. And I'm like, I know it. And he's like, yeah, I spoke to my priest this week. I'm putting on film. I'm like, that's right. And it was actually because of what Rabbi Wolf had taught us, so I had brought, from time to time, we bring different things with us, some of science to give to the, to the people we visit, to help encourage them in the growth of the Yiddish guide and had brought with me a small chumash. And I wasn't sure who I was going to give it to, who could use it most. And it was right then, I was like, John, guess what? I have a bar mitzvah gift for you. We're making a bar mitzvah, I gave him his little chumash, and we put on film for the first time in his whole life at the age of 86, I believe. The power of that one tefillin, the, the, the effect it had on him was tremendous. When it came to Hanukkah, suddenly he was much more open to it. When it came to talking about Dvar Teira, he was much more open to these ideas now. In Yiddish guide, he was telling me the, the glow in his eyes and he was telling me how he set up the Minera on his table. How these are things that a few months ago, when you tell him about a Minera on his table, he laughed at you. But it really opened up that, that spark of a neshama within him. It was tremendous. And it was all thanks to YJL Mandivo for giving me the, uh, the organization, the power, and the know how to be able to come into a guy's office and really affect them in such a deep and meaningful way.